This is the demo uh, of the Dragon Crew capsule that is the manned uh, vehicle that will service the space station. If this mission goes successfully, it will basically enable U.S. serviced uh, launches to the space station with astronauts. What it means for the space program is it's really opening up much more regular access to the space station. So we really will see a lot more capability in terms of our ability to launch humans into space. There will be the actual first flight of the Dragon capsule with humans on the vehicle and we'll have a couple of astronauts piloting that mission. And so that will be um, really the, the first time since the shuttle was retired eight years ago now that uh, in the United States we've had the capability to launch humans into space. These vehicles have 50 years of technological upgrades over the older vehicles. So this is a major change in the capabilities and the cost of these vehicles to operate. NASA really focused on going back to the moon and to Mars. And so we're really set up for a very exciting, you know, next couple of decades. And I think this is really the beginning. I think people will look back at the space program and say the first 50 years, that was one type of space program. And the next 50 years will be a very different type of space program. It's a very exciting time to be going into the space business. Cape Canaveral in the background as we head northeast towards the International Space Station orbit.